Hey everybody, Steven here, and today I'm going to do an unboxing, setup, and test video for my new 4K webcam from Depths Tech here. So, saw this on, I think, Facebook, and just looked at what the product had to offer. They do a bunch of other tech stuff beyond just webcams, but saw this, went to Amazon instead because they had a deal on it, and right now, let's get the price right out of the way, it's 60 bucks, but you can save an extra 20% off right now with the coupon on Amazon. Now I have the Logitech C922 right here. This is 1080p. It's been great. I don't do a ton of webcam stuff, but I'm trying to get more into it because I want to start streaming a lot more with the Subnautica Below Zero release coming up and some other games that I want to play. I do want to integrate that a little bit more into what I'm doing here on the channel, but I was also hoping for something that had the 4K with this over just the 1080p here. And this has been a phenomenal webcam, but hopefully this has the better clarity that I'm looking for for when I'm streaming. So let's get this thing unboxed. But before we do that, 4K, 30 FPS, DC 5 volts. It has autofocus. It does have two microphones on it on the outside here. Plug and play. Uh, yeah, dual microphone. Horizontal 360 rotation. So we have... Just our user manual stuff, which I'm sure I'll need to look at here in a second. Take this out. And then we have, you do have, it does come with a stand, so if you want to do that, I'll most likely just put mine on the top here. But that is it right there. And we actually have a sticker peel, so let's go ahead and do that right now. There it is. So comparing the two, just size wise, right? This thing's obviously a lot wider. This one really just has tilt though. So I'm curious as to the rotation that they're talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can literally just 360 rotate this. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then we still get that decent level of tilt on this as well. Long cable which is nice just because with mine, yeah, I run that a good distance here. One of the things that I don't like is getting products and the cable is extremely short. So this shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, that's a good, it's going even out of frame here. <laughs> that's, that's good, that's plenty with this. So this will just sit right up here, just like that. Make sure it clips good, yep. I'm just going to plug it up here for now. It should click right in. And I actually have USB ports on the monitor. Something that I talk about with my reviews is liking that. And one of the reasons is for this. Now I could run this to the back. That's not the issue here. But if I can condense everything behind the monitor, I do like that. Let's look what else this comes with, though. Webcam cover. So if you are concerned about that you can actually put that right there i usually unplug mine when i'm done with it so i usually don't mess with those and then we have our little tripod here which i actually like this the logitech one it's metal and it like the legs like extend out but if you push on it it sinks down um, it does give you a little bit more versatility with like lowering one side but i do like this Feels a little bit flimsy. My concern would be if you do push this, it may break this, but it does come with the stand. That is awesome. Um, with this, we have the 4K camera. It's an eight megapixel sensor on this with one third CMOS image sensor featuring up to the 4K resolution at 30 FPS. Um, with this, um, you have the privacy cover. You have the dual microphones, which are supposed to have noise cancellation with them on this i'm going to see software wise what i have to do or if this is just going to it should just be picked up by my uh, different webcam stuff that i'm using and i may potentially record this with obs i'm going to see with that or if i could just actually have it pop up with 
a GeForce experience, I may just, just do that and not have to mess with OBS. But we're gonna get this rolling. I'm going to pop this up. I'll just talk a little bit more about the product using this. And then I actually do wanna do a test just to show the difference between the image. So I'll probably interject this for a second so you guys can actually compare the two, maybe run them side by side if I can. Just the difference between the 4K here and then the 1080p with this. Also, utilizing the microphone, I'll do a test on that, but I'll probably end up using my uh, SMB7, whatever the microphone is. I'm forgetting the name on that microphone already, but I'll probably be using that for the actual audio just so it is a little more clear with this compared to just this, but I do wanna actually showcase what this will sound like. So let's go ahead and cut over and do the video test with our DeepStack 4K camera here. All right, so doing this a little differently. So I'm actually recording this with NVIDIA GeForce and then showcasing this with OBS. Recording in OBS for the actual recordings, it's just laggy. I'm having an issue with it. I've tried different things to tweak it and it's just not the best quality, especially when I'm looking at this. And this actually looks really, really good. So I think the GeForce recording this is actually going to look better than if I was to actually record this in OBS. Now, with GeForce also, you can use the webcam and I'll pop up in the corner and I'll showcase that. It looks pretty solid. It's not as big as I'd like because with OBS, you do get to scale this and that looks pretty solid. Let's blow this all the way up. So I can tell a quality difference because usually like for what this looks like right now, this is how it looks at 1080p when I'm in the corner and I'm smaller. I do have the background removal tool on, will make me smaller again, <laughs> and we'll bring this down. But it, I mean, it looks great. Uh, it, like I said, compared to 1080p, it does look really, really good. It's uh, a step up for sure. And it was cheaper because the C922 is, I think it's discounted for like $91 right now on Amazon, but it's still normally $100. So if you want something that's a little bit cheaper, the 60 bucks plus extra 20% off, I mean, what does that make it, $48? Like, that's a solid deal, half the price, right, um, with this. So now let's actually try to test out these speakers and see how these do, not speakers, but microphones, how these actually do when recording. All right, so this is going to be the microphone with uh, the DeepTech 4K camera here. They don't sound that good. I did check this. It sounds like you're really far away. It sounds like I'm speaking into a tunnel. Now that does depend on how close I am. So let's move this out of the way. So if I start getting closer and closer to the camera, obviously that's gonna be better, but now I'm like right up in that. Back up. Maybe this is about a normal viewing distance for this camera here, but it still sounds like you're in that tunnel. I, I'm gonna try to make sure in post that the levels are close to the same between this and the microphone, but I mean, this is also a $400 microphone, so there is a difference between these two, obviously, with this. So if you absolutely had to, yeah, you could probably use these, especially if you're just doing Skype calls, but you're going to want a microphone, most likely, with this. So, eh, not the best, but the image is the big draw for this. So we're going to switch back to this microphone, talk one more time with this, and then we'll actually check out the Logitech camera. All right, so found a little bit of a workaround, just blew the image up of the what the webcam was capturing and then just essentially turned off the chroma cam filter with this in OBS. So this is actually my room right now. So we have our lights in the background here. The autofocus is actually pretty good, although it does create a wobble. So something if you're doing like this, it may create an issue maybe with that if you don't like that wobble. If you're gaming, you're probably not gonna notice it if you're actually removing the background with this. Uh, yeah, quality is really, really good. It definitely has that wide angle to it. This is the office that I have right now, but I've talked about we're moving. I'll have my own office in the new house, so it'll look more put together than what I have here. But I did have to actually tear down the B-roll station that I've been filming a lot of products with that's usually sitting directly behind me um, because we've been showing the house and now we're getting ready for inspections and appraisal and all that other stuff. So I got to keep that stuff out of the room. But I think, yeah, the quality is just great with this thing, like I said, for the price point. And so now we're actually going to cut over. I'm going to get the Logitech C922 set up and then we'll actually test out what this looks like 
And so the way I'll do this, because I do want to do some type of comparison, I think it's just going to be a little bit harder with putting these potentially side by side because I'm going to have to cut it and it's going to look really, really weird. So what we're going to do instead, we'll just do a hard cut right here and we're going to jump over to the C922. All right, so this is going to be the Logitech camera here. It still looks good. I'm not saying it doesn't look good. And this is the wide angle here because when you actually bring up the Logi Capture software, and this is where like you have the Logitech webcam software, you have the Logi Cam software, then you have, if you're using G Hub with this, it'll pull it up. They're all doing a little bit different things, but the Logi Capture, and I'm bringing this up right here, this actually does the best for being able to tweak a lot of the settings with this. And it looks really good when it's in here. But with this one, you can actually activate that wide lens. And this is where it looks more comparable to the Deeps Tech here. And it's not quite as crisp as kind of the first thing that I noticed. I think the other one was definitely better. Um, but I noticed with the Deeps Tech one here, it doesn't have any software. If you go to the website, there's no software that you download. You're really relying on the streaming service or whatever, you, you're relying on that to actually adjust anything. And that's fine because you can, especially in OBS here, you bring up video capture and you go into the properties, you can actually tweak the settings and they give you a lot of different options with this exposure, contrast, tint, um, white balance, autofocus, all that stuff you can actually do in the software. So it is going to be software dependent whether I'm actually trying to do this through Skype or maybe we are doing it through uh, Facebook or anything like that, uh, Zoom, right? They're going to all have their own adjustments that can, they can potentially make. But I do think this looks, uh, it still looks decent, right? But I'm going to give uh, Deeps Tech the, the benefit here with uh, that 4K 8 mega, megapixel lens. It, it just, it does, it does look better in my opinion. And if I want to save some money, it's just kind of the easier route to go with this. So let's go ahead and cut back over to the deep tech here, and then we will wrap this video up. Yeah, so it, it looks a little bit better for sure. Um, and at half the price point, I, th I think it'd be a no brainer. I mean, go with the deep tech if you're on a budget with this. Maybe the Logitech has some stuff with a software that you really, really need. And that's going to be why you're actually going to go with that over this. But I do like this camera. Now in OBS here, if you go to configure video, so you're going into your capture um, settings here, this is where, yeah, I can control all of this stuff. And so if you need to do any tweaks to this now to really make it look a little bit better, and you can do the same thing with the Logitech camera. It's not that you can't do that with this. Um, you can actually tweak it in here to make this look really, really good. So. I haven't messed with the focus. I don't think that's going to actually let me do this, right? Yeah. But you actually get to change this if you want to, which is awesome considering the fact that it doesn't have software. Maybe the fact that it doesn't have software is a deal breaker, but I point that out to say in, in certain instances, you don't really need it. And I think for your overall user, they're probably not going to mess with it. But if you do want more clarity in your video, whether it is for streaming and you're doing game stuff or you're just doing Zoom meetings and things like that, this is a good option for you. They even make, I think, 1440p. They make like 2K ones and then they make 1080p uh, webcams as well. And those are cheap. Like some of them are like 20 bucks. So I'll put a couple of links for those in, in the description as well as this one. But um, if there's anything that I didn't cover with this, right? I mean, we have the two microphones. They're not that good. Uh, we have the 4K video with this running at the 30 FPS. Um, we have the autofocus with this. And we don't have any software with it. The price is 60 bucks. You get the 20% off coupon right now. Um, it has a lot going for it. But those are the highlights with this. And then you, if you want to, you do have the privacy protector here if you actually want to put this on. I like seeing that. Logitech has the same thing. And like I said, I usually just unplug mine when I'm done with it, but it does have that option there as well. And then the 360 rotation that the Logitech camera doesn't have. So not only can it tilt, which the Logitech camera can do, but then you can actually swivel this 360. So there's a little bit more control. Maybe I'm here and then, hey, I need to move to the other side and I'm going to swivel this over. Or if it's you need to talk to somebody else for just a split second, you need to see them. I think, hey, uh, families are doing... Uh, 
kind of the video messenger with uh, different families where they can't see each other, although this stuff with COVID is kind of coming to an end now. But if I needed to swivel that around, it's like, oh, hey, talk to mom or dad, whatever it is. You just swivel it around for a second and then you can swivel it back. So that is a nice feature with this. And then we still get the stand, which we have this here. Logitech had the same thing, but uh, I like this one compared to that one just because the adjustment of the legs. So if I push on it, it kind of tilts. But uh, that's actually going to wrap this video up. If there's anything that I didn't answer in this video for you guys, let me know in the comment section and I will make sure that I actually find that info out for you and let you know there. And I'll have a link for this one. And like I said, the other ones, as well as the Logitech, just in case you want to pick it up in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'm going to have more content hopefully rolling out here soon. There's some other products that I'm excited to actually check out. And then I've mentioned it. I'm going to be documenting when we get the new house and I move into the new office, the new space, and just the setup of my office because I've been working out of here for a while now and it works fine, but I'm really excited to have my own space and actually dive deeper into the reviews and get to spend more time with these products and hopefully increase the quality of these videos as well. So check back soon. Hopefully in the next couple of months, the market's so crazy right now. I don't know when we're going to find a house. It's the hard part, <laughs> but um, I'm going to keep everybody up to date on that. But videos may start to slow down a little bit. And then when we, once we get the new house, they're going to take off. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check back soon for more videos. All right. So you probably thought I forgot about what this looks like when you're recording with the GeForce experience. And I did. But bonus right here. So uh, I'm down in the corner right now. So it's running through Chroma Cam is the best way to do this. If you want the background removed, what I notice is that it struggles and it also creates a level of transparency with this. So interesting the way it does it. Um, there are no options to tweak this in GeForce Experience right now. But before you couldn't use Chroma Cam, at least to my knowledge. So you would literally just be a blocked out webcam video in the corner which can actually just take up space there so the fact that it can actually utilize chroma cam right now is pretty awesome with this so excited about this because i'm going to use this with my streams my upcoming streams of subnautica below zero let's uh pull this up real quick so when you go into the hud layout that would be medium and that is small right so small small is small <laughs> like that's that's too small uh you can't tweak it beyond this you just get to choose these sizes with this that's medium a uh, little bit better but it kind of seems like um going for the largest size is going to be the best option it seems the more natural i i'm also wondering if this has to do with the resolution because it is bigger so my portion of being in the view maybe that doesn't make sense right i don't know if I, like i said maybe it's a resolution it's shrinking it i don't know how it works because it doesn't seem like i'm this small when i'm using my logitech camera it seems like i'm usually on the medium setting setting but it's a good size you are a little bit transparent with this but i think it works great and hopefully down the road they add more support and options for it in geforce but Wanted to showcase this, so that's going to be it for this video. This is the final ending to this video. Thanks so much for watching.